representing the 17 to 24 foot class in the bay boat category. The Dusky 242 Bay has an overall length of 24 feet 2 inches, a beam of 7 feet 8 inches, and a max horsepower rating of 350. Built to cruise the flats and handle choppy conditions, she has a draft of 12 inches, a dead rise of 20 degrees, a dry weight of 3,500 pounds, and a fuel capacity of 100 gallons. Now, let's hear more from our hosts, George Labonte and Rick Riles. We're standing on the new Dusky 242 Bay, and this is a bay boat, but this has got a lot more going on than just a bay boat. Let's talk about that for a second. Well, you're right, George, and to me, when I think of a bay boat, is a boat that can get shallow enough to flats fish with, but can go through the choppy water to get there. Exactly right. Well, the Brown family took this thing into the next level. What we're standing on is actually the identical hull as the Dusky 25, which we all know and love. It impresses the heck out of me that they didn't change a thing about the bottom, they just took some, some height off of it, if you will. Exactly, you've cut the freeboard down, we've got a casting platform up here, this casting deck, a place to stand up here and fish, a place to throw a cast net from, a very nice open deck in the rest of the boat, the dusky drive on the back to get out on and so you can fish off of there or fish in the back. I mean, this boat will do the job that offshore boat's gonna do and still get you back into the back country. Let's talk a little bit about what makes this a bay boat configuration. Let me tell you, the platform is really the heart of most bay boats. I mean, that's what bay boats are all about, is being able to stand up here and cast. One thing we always want to see on a bay boat is a forward casting deck with standard equipment on a bay boat, and this one's got a really nice deck. Now, the owner of this boat loves to throw a cast net. They do a lot of bait fishing. They throw a bunch of nets. When you're standing up here, they've got the marine mat, which is great grippy surface for if you're fishing up here or if you're throwing a net. And there's just a slight elevation there, that little forward piece there, and that's here to remind you where the edge of the boat is. You can stand with one foot up there, brace when you're throwing a net, but if you're fishing up here, when you hit that little toe edge, it's gonna keep you from going in the water. There is a massive storage area up front, and then there's great fish boxes that are just the right size from here up to the bulkhead on each side. Behind you, there's a 40 gallon live well, and I like the live well location right there for this reason. If you're that guy who throws the net, it's very easy to take your net from here to the well. You can actually dump the net while you're standing up here. You can flip that lid up and just turn and shake the net right into the live well from here. And it's a 40 gallon tank, plenty big enough for bay boat fishing or offshore fishing. You're right, stand up here high, shake them in there. Perfect setup for an offshore live well. You know, as we get further into the summer, this gets hotter and hotter out here. Move to the center of the boat with me, Rick. I wanna show you something that I really enjoy on this boat. Ah, sweet. I tell you what, it's cooler back here. Yes. I like a big T-top. You know what? It's hard to remember that you're on a bay boat when we come back here. There's so much shade underneath this top, yet it doesn't interfere with your fishing space, either in the back of the boat or the front of the boat. This is a lot of real estate to cover right here, and you're comfortable here. And a hot summer day like this comes in really handy. Not just that, Rick. This console is really big. There's so much room to walk around the outside of the console, it's hard to imagine when you open the door and look inside there, you're not even going to believe the amount of storage space inside this console. Oh, you store everything you want, put a head down there, I mean there's yeah. plenty of room for it, but you're right. The key to it to me is, is the console too wide and can you walk past it easily? And in this boat you certainly can. Let me show you how much room there is in the cockpit on this boat to fish despite this oversized top. Move back here with me. Alright, take a look here. Spread your arms out. Plenty of room. Yeah, plenty of room to fish. You know, I feel like I'm in, again, I feel like I'm in an offshore center console only with this low freeboard. This is set up to me like an offshore center console, but this is a place where you can fish around. I mean, I could easily be fishing here and reach down and pick a snook up out of the water. I mean, it's bay boat meets offshore right in this space, and there's a lot more room here than it looks like. Add to that the fact you've got the dusky drive right here. You can walk out and stand on it back there as well. Now this backrest comes out. We've got a seat, you know, when we fish together, if we get to that point in the day where you need to take a nap and get off your feet, <laughs> we put this seat up right here and you got a nice bench to get comfortable on, but put it down and you can lift these rods out of here, take the backrest out of here and move it and you've got even that much more room to work around. One more thing we can't overlook, it's the bay boat still. This boat's equipped with a power pole which comes in really handy when you're doing the backwater type of fishing. You know, if you want to stop fishing area, stick the pole down, pull it up, drift a little bit, stick it again. You can effectively cover an area with this, and this one's got it. And the jack plate, which is probably not going to be at play when you're 20 miles offshore, but can be very much in play when you're back here on the flats, because you can raise the motor up and run in skinnier water. 
You know, for a bay boat that goes offshore in rough water and will do the job back here, I can't imagine anything I'd change about this Dusky 242.